Okay world, how you doing? Um, this is how to replace a defrost time clock. Um, this is the new defrost time clock that I put in here. Okay, this is a beverage air uh, freezer. Um, beverage air. This is a two door. Two door freezer. Um, the model number is, there it is, it's a EF48-1 Apple Sam, that's Edward Frank 48-1 Apple Sam, uh, R404, 23 ounces, 14 and a half amps, uh, load on the is a max draw for the box on for everything uh, 115 volt there you go uh, okay so beverage here okay so change out a defrost time clock. Whenever you see a defrost time clock uh, that has the date on it, like this is 2007, if you ever see a clock that's older than 10 years, just change it out. You're just, you're doing the customer a favor and yourself a favor. Um, they just, they're no good after 10 years. Uh, the motors quit or they intermittently work or, you know, you're just asking for trouble. So if you want to you know, do a good PM thing. If you see them, this one lasted 11 years. And then when I plugged it in, I, I got lucky. Uh, you can see this had a little cover. I don't think I had the covers around anymore, but anyways. Um, and you wanna always put these covers back on because the wires could hit the motor and stop the motor. So, but anyways, um, this this when it started out, the thing, the, the thing started barely moving. And these things normally move really fast. So if you see yours just barely moving, it's junk. That's not gonna keep correct time. Um, like I said, um, this one uh, was just kind of would work for a few days and then it wouldn't, wouldn't work. So this was really hard to diagnose, but I got lucky when I turned on the box, I saw this thing just barely start out and it didn't, didn't start turning very good at all and I knew and then when it was running, uh, I hear, heard a faint growling noise, kind of like a bad bearing. So, yeah, not a good thing. Anyway, so, um, but if you want my points, you can turn on my light. Okay, so I just turned on the light on the camera. And there's your point, your contacts. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty much done, too. They're, that's about as max as you want to let them get. That's about... That's 75%, 80% gone, maybe 90% gone. That's the contacts, yeah. But you know, that's as, that's as much as you want to. Yeah, see when they start burning outside there, like that. Yeah, it's definitely gone our time. Yeah, this one's toast, this side. So, uh, definitely, like I said, when they hit 10 years, it's awesome. You're doing everybody a favor, yourself and, uh, customer especially so, I mean what do you expect to get another year out of it or something but anyhow um, so like I said replace them uh, 10 years um, this is an 8141-00 the oldest original clock is a 2007 box 8141-00 uh, the M is uh, man M for manufacturer so this was a manufacturer clock you can see right here January 26th 2007. So, um, well, you can see how the manufacturer put on this stuff. Pretty cool with the, to match the color code of the wires. It matches exact. You can see all the wires are the exact same colors. Kind of cool. Uh, Every chair is pretty cool like that. Um, I uh, okay so. If you want to change out, if you want to change out one of these clocks, a real nice thing is to get one of these number kits. I use these uh, 
right here. You can get them at any electrical supply house, like uh, Walters out here, and uh, I think they also sell them at Home, Home Depot. But ideal, the wire marker marker book that um, has all these little numbers in it. I'll open it up for those of you that haven't seen one of these books before. They're very cool. Uh, they got all these numbers in them, and you can just pages of numbers. I think they even sell ones that have like letters too. Um, but anyway, so make your job a whole lot easier. Of course, these days with the phones, we can just take a picture, you know, and that helps a lot. So always take a picture of everything, but I always use a wire number. It just takes a few minutes, and like this is wire connection number one. I uh, so put a one on the on the wire, on a four. You can see on there. And then you just double check, and then you're then you're set to go. Makes your life easiest. Um, so uh, then you just take it away. Take out this screw right here, and this screw right here. That rusty one, and this one down here. Okay. So one, two, three screws, and the thing just comes out. Uh, you put it aside. Of course, you unplug the unit before you do any of this. So uh, make sure you unplug it. Um, so take the clock away like this put the new one put the new one in place and then you always start when you're putting your wires back on always do them from the bottom up so that way you're not like working down into wires kind of like you work out into a clear area so that's just something that kind of helps whenever you're doing something if you're putting like wires in something always start from the bottom filling it with wires go to the top so you're don't end up putting a bunch of wires on the top and then you're <laughs> trying to get into the bottom and stuff so just another little tip and uh, that's about it uh, fairly straightforward if you don't have the right numbers um, like on my book I don't have an N I'm gonna have to find a book and see if there's an N I just use another number and I make a note of it or take a picture you know but, uh, so but try to use the corresponding numbers there's a two on this one number two you know just helps if a wire falls off or something and makes your life a lot easier okay that's pretty much it and then always check all your uh, bus connections make sure everything's all pushed on and nothing got pulled off and nothing's you know rusted or burning or loose wires or all that kind of stuff do a visual inspection and you know there you go and uh, that's it that'll, that'll on a change out of clock. All right. Uh, and I like making notes like when I replace stuff and you know what's in stuff like this. So. Alright. Um, so this is like I said is an 8141.00 clock. 115 volt. Again, it's a 115 volt clock. Okay, uh, take care. Click like on the video and subscribe. Thanks, bye.